So this, the Nikon or Nikon D40X, I've not really used that much. Although I did really hustle to pick this particular camera up. I got it in a really good deal with a bunch of other cameras and it ended up costing me no money. I did a couple of flips and there you go. So really a free camera. Now the lens I have on it, I'm having to focus manually because the D40X requires one of the lenses with the inbuilt motor. So the feeling I'm getting from this particular walk today is of a very manual analog experience, which is what I'm loving. I'm gonna get a quick picture here. So super cool interaction I just had with that person riding a fixie that was Jane. She just stopped, turned around, did some no hand stuff so I could take some pictures. Actually did it twice because I missed the first one because this is manual focus today, but that was a pretty good interaction and that's a really good example. You know, if you're just honest and kind when you're out taking pictures and just don't be in people's faces, then you can really get some good shots. Um, my aim today is just to really test this D40X. So hopefully when I put Jane through Lightroom, those pictures will come out well. My t-shirt blends with my coffee mug. It was a complete accident continuity issues. We need to uh, address the styling department for this channel. Ugh, instant. Welcome then to one of my new favorite camera walk bodies or cameras, the Nikon Nikon. Nikon. Ni Ni We're just gonna call it the Con because it's conflicting. Nikon Nikon. The uh, Con 40X. So this particular Con 40X, I got for free in a job lot of other cameras. Now, when the 40X arrived, it was in very, very, very bad condition. Covered in mud, literally. I think it had been sat in a box in a basement with a bunch of other cameras for some photographic department of a business. Um, obviously, it was obsolete, so they discarded them. I got a whole bunch for less than 100 bucks. On KEH.com, one of my favorite websites for purchasing used camera gear, not affiliated with them, but they're wonderful. The D40 is selling right now for around about $44, and the D40X for around about $70. I think you guys know me by now. You know my preferences. I'm a Nikon fan. I always have been. I have so much glass for these camera bodies. It just makes sense at this point for me to stay with that brand. That having been said, you guys, if you're a huge fan of DSLR cameras, but you don't wanna spend the earth, the D40 is a great option. Now I've done a video on the D70 and the D70 is a great camera that you can get for much less than the D40. This particular lens I have on right now, it's a retro vintage F mount 50 mil from back in the day. The good thing about this DSLR and a lot of my other Nikon DSLRs is I can use my old vintage lenses on these bodies. It just matches, look. You know, that that was an accident, can you believe it? It's the same color, the mug's the same color as the t-shirt. Weird. What came first, the t-shirt or the mug? I'm not a mug. You're a mug. You know I harp on about 35 mil? If I could, I would shoot my Nikon FE or EM with my HP5 or Portra 160, Portra 4, Portra 8 all the time. The images that I get from my 35mm just make me so happy. This one here is an image I shot on a commercial shoot in a, um, in a record store in Columbus. Um, I've got a whole bunch that I printed out. I haven't actually printed out any of my digital photos. I don't know why. Maybe it's a nostalgia thing. But my 35 mil cameras, the images tend to get printed out. Now the images that I create with my 35 mil cameras, those are the ones I tend to print out. Those are the ones that go up on my wall. I just leave those photos lying around the house because they make me super happy. So that having been said, every time I'm pulling that shutter, I'm pulling the trigger, I'm spending money. So let's get back to the D40X. The D40X was released in 2007. It was discontinued in 2008 and superseded 
by the D60. I have one of those as well. So a year in production, but it used the old body from the D40, so practically the same. The only thing that was different was the sensor. This tiny little powerhouse has a 10 megapixel sensor. And guess what, you guys? It's CCD. Yes, I said it. It's a buzzword, as buzzy as hipster, but it's a CCD sensor, which means the images that you get from this camera are superb directly from the camera. I love the vibes of the CCD sensor. It just hits different. And 10.2 megapixels, that's not a crazy size. Sure, it takes a little longer to edit than my D2HS, which is like three megapixels, but still a wonderful size. 10 megapixels is like a sweet spot for me for editing. Another thing I love about this camera, you guys, it takes SD cards. SD cards are readily available. They're wonderful. SD and SDHC. This particular one's an 8 gig. I mean, this card is like almost full and it says it's got 509 shots left, which is good because the battery apparently only lasts for like 550. See that little shutter? Just makes me so happy. So the D40X can also shoot three frames a second, which is pretty slow compared to my D2H again. That's eight frames a second. But three frames a second is still good enough for you to just keep your finger on the button and capture those images with your friends having a good time. The lens options are vast. It has an F mount lens option. And that's why I can use this vintage Nikon 50. Understand that the only lenses that are gonna automatically zoom are the AFS lenses. The AFS lens then has a built in motor that's gonna help you focus. The D40 can still use these vintage lenses, but it's gonna use them in manual mode. Understand also that if you put a vintage lens on, it doesn't meter through the lens. You can have one of those dope meters that professionals use, or you can just use the Sunny 16 rule, which is here. What that means is you get a retro vintage feel from the D40X, just like my FE or my EM, but it's a CCD 10 megapixel digital camera and it doesn't cost me anything. I press the button, oh, it's free. Press the button, that one's free. Look at that composition, click, free. The FE, click, 19 cents. Click, 28 cents. Click. So if I'm just shooting for fun, if I'm just trying to get out practice, the D40X is perfect. The ISO range goes from 100 to 1600. And another thing I love about these old DSLR cameras are the modes. Let's have a closer look at the camera, shall we? Now this mode dial is something that I love. Um, super tactile, easy to use. M is for manual, fully manual when I'm using a vintage lens like this. I'll put it in A for aperture priority if I'm using my AFS lens or indeed shutter priority. But for the vintage, I'm just going to use M for manual and then treat this camera like a mechanical SLR camera. The other pictures, you can see the flower is for macro and the little person is for sports running. Info button to light up the screen on the back and the on switch there. Info screen is wonderful, shows you everything you're going to want to know. And then we have an exposure compensation button, which helps as well. My dial changes things I need to change. The menu button is super tactile there also. So you can just go ahead and see everything you need to see on the LCD screen in the back. And then some previous images, test images I took there. I can peep them on my screen. This camera has a built-in flash and a hot shoe, which is just as well because my flash isn't function as, functioning as it should. But the hot shoe takes a flash. And there you can see, I've taped up the Nikon so you can just see con. And that's my, sh that's my lens release catch. And then that's the prism and the sensor inside there. All in all, a fantastic camera. I love this little beast. The battery housing on the bottom, you can see... And then that is my AFS lens, which I'm just going to pop on here. Now I can auto zoom, wrong, auto focus this composition as needed. Boom. Love this camera. When I'm out shooting the D40X, I don't get any funny looks. I'm just a person in the world enjoying photography. If I go into a store, which I often do, and take pictures, vintage stores, retro stores. When I go in with these big old cameras, people have questions. If I just blast around 
with a little D40X? Again, less questions, more inconspicuous. If I'm at events and I take these big old cameras, questions. If I've just got a little D40X on a strap, hangs down by my side, I'm just an amateur, I'm just an enthusiast. I love giving people options. This Coolpix 8700 bridge camera is a good option, a good alternative. It has a zoom lens, it has a CCD sensor, and it's a wonderful little beast. And if you wanna take that next step up, D40. I can't tell you enough how much I've been enjoying shooting this D40X. These cameras can really help you progress with your photography, can help you learn the ropes, and then when you're done, you're settled in and you're comfortable, you can progress up to something that maybe costs you a little bit more money. Get yourself a D40X in 2023, use a CCD sensor in 2023, pay less than $100 and love photography just as much as I do. Thank you so much for stopping in. I really enjoyed this week's review of my D40X. Really good camera. I'm looking forward to shooting it as much as possible this summer. I think I'm gonna take it around with me all the time. I think it's gonna be my go-to camera. It is not obnoxious, it is incognito, yet it delivers me 10.2 megapixels of beautiful CCD images. Check out some more of these images that we've been looking at throughout the way. Now the next review I'm going to do is for a 35 mil camera. The Pentax Program A. Look forward to that. HP5 in it. Already shot about 27 images. Looking forward to developing those. This is a great camera. Watch out for that. See you on the next one, you guys. Take care.